are entering cold and flu season, but hopefully it's not the triple demic situation that we saw last winter. That's when the flu, COVID and RSV hit all at once. But this year, though, pregnant women will have a new tool to help keep their babies safe from illnesses, especially in those first few weeks of life when they are most vulnerable. Now, consumer investigator Jen Picciano tells us more about newly available RSV vaccines. Late last month, the FDA approved a Breezevo, the first ever vaccine created to prevent RSV in babies by giving it to their mothers during the last trimester of their pregnancy. Now, it has shown promising results in keeping babies from getting sick. However, there are some concerns about potential links to preterm births. Kelly Thomas brought a baby into this world during a COVID flu and RSV outbreak. It spread so fast. Mm -hmm. So that those first couple months, you just kind of hold them in like precious. Already anxious as a new mom, she feared her young son, Skylar, would get dangerously sick if he contracted RSV. We didn't really allow people to come over those first couple months, except for immediate family and very close friends. You know, you just don't want to expose him to everyone and everything. Looking ahead to future pregnancies, she is relieved to know she'll have the option of an RSV vaccine at 32 to 36 weeks to give any of Skylar's future siblings their best chance at fighting off the serious respiratory virus. You know, you're getting the injection, so I feel like it's a safer and less invasive way to get them those antibodies and to start getting their immune system up and running without giving it straight to them. OBGYN Dr. Greg Marchand with the Marchand Institute says he likes the strategy of protecting babies from RSV through their moms. Uh, now the data behind it protecting against RSV is really extremely strong. Data showed 80% decreases in RSV infections uh, in babies, particularly in the first three months, but that protection did last to a lesser degree out to six months. So this was a lot of protection and will likely prevent a lot of hospitalizations. However, he says the clinical trial of this vaccine showed a 17% increase in preterm labor and preterm births in women who had the vaccine. Pfizer did this study, the Matisse study, but Glasgow Smith Klein tried to approve a similar vaccine a few years ago, and they actually stopped their randomized clinical trial last year because they saw the same thing, an increase in preterm births, uh, and they actually felt it was unethical to go forward, so they actually stopped that trial. Dr. Marchand says he'd like to see a shorter, later window for administering the vaccine and stronger language about who it is best suited for. Perhaps reserving this for babies that really need it, uh, maybe babies that we're predicting are going to be born preterm term or uh, perhaps babies that have a known uh, genetic immunocompromised state. When I was doing some of my own research, I mean, if you get into the scientific journals and you look at the statistics of the amount of antibodies that babies are born with, with or without their mother getting vaccinated during pregnancy, mm -hmm. It's it's amazing. Kelly you know? is confident this is the safer way to go and believes the benefits will outweigh the risks. But she knows this is a personal decision pregnant women will make with their doctors. Jen Pachano, 19 News.